good evening students myself dr vikram so this video we are going to look about the periodontology revision schedule so i'll tell you how to revise periodontology in one day okay and please note that this video is not for students uh, you know who are in the midway of the preparation yet to revise or yet to finish one time of reading okay and for students who are just started your preparation this video is particularly for students who are in a constant state of preparation for at least 10 months and above okay so if you are a student who, who is preparing for 10 months and above okay i have definitely i'm definitely sure that you would have mastered the art of revising one subject per day isn't it so uh, today i'll tell you the revision schedule of perio as well as some important topics which might be missed in your regular guides or uh, your regular textbook reading okay so the first session the mid session and the last session you are going to read your regular guides which is nothing but the dental pulse or the dentist you have hardly around 750 mcqs you read 250 mcqs per session and you can finish that very easily so session one session four and session eight it's going to be your regular guides which is pulse and dentist okay just finish and throw it off and the second session you are going to read your own notes notes which you have taken from your textbook notes which you have taken from your dentist or pulse notes from your institutes if you are in any coaching institutes whatever notes you have taken just read and revise that notes so i have given session 2 and session 5 so session 2 is basically 2 hours session 5 is basically for uh, 1 hour so 3 hours for your notes and textbook reading you would have definitely highlighted some points in, while reading the textbook the important points just go through that the notes given by your uh, staffs or any coaching institutes if, if you're joined read that notes and three hours of notes reading is more than enough okay so once we are done with the first session second session fourth and eighth session the third session it's going to be the previous periodontology papers okay only perio because we are going to deal only with perio today so periodontology paper not more than seven years okay last seven years 2000 14 to 20 okay that's more than enough or take max 8 okay don't read more than uh, 8 years back you are not going to get any questions from that okay now once you have read the previous period papers move on to the fifth session uh, sorry the sixth session I will tell you what is the sixth session is all about and the seventh session which is a one hour of reading is going to be only only images especially your Karanza images what to read you you have to look about the instrumentations the grasps and curates the design of the curates as well as the if, if flap, flap techniques which flap is used and what is the muco the mucosal surgical procedure used there and you have to look at all the surgical procedures as well as in case some allimeters or periotron some um, uh, the various types of probes the various generations of probes so you have to look at all the images which is present in the Karanza okay i hope one hour is more than sufficient just the images and whichever image you feel is going to be a little bit of tough or you know you if you you feel you might forget that please highlight that and revise the next time okay so these are all the eight sessions and if you do it properly you can definitely finish perio in a day okay so the sixth session okay the sixth session which i missed out i'll tell you what to read in the sixth session so these are all the important very important seven topics which might be missed in your dentist or pulse which might be missed while reading your textbooks or might not they might have not taught you in your coaching institutes okay there are a lot of topics but i am just telling you to revise only these seven topics as there is very less time left okay so you have to look at the endoperiolations how to diagnose and primary endo secondary perio primary perio secondary endo okay so what are the parameters you have to look and what is the treatment plan of it and biological width what is the normal biological width what is the biological width? actually it's a combination of the junction epithelium as well as your gingival connective tissue fibers and how much amount of mucosa you should preserve from the alveolar crest to the gingival margin while doing crown lengthening and if you are having less what to do so there's a decision making tree just have a look at that and width of attached gingiva so what is the width of attached gingiva of your anteriors 
three maxilla you have 3.5 to 4.5 mandible 3.3 to 3.9 and what are the methods to measure the width of attention there are five methods so you can do that uh, mechanically or local anesthetic method histochemical methods or using an ultrasonic probe or using a roll and jiggling method okay and principles of periodontal instrumentations what are the various principles this includes your grasps and um, the wrist okay the uh, patient positioning the operator positioning the instrument angulations sharpness of the instruments okay so uh, you have to look at the principles of periodontal instrumentations and the full mouth disinfection protocol okay there are six to seven steps of full mouth disinfection protocol which is given by Quirinian. just have a look at that it will be very helpful it will be a little bit of confusing thing but once you start uh, revising that one time two time three time it will be very easy okay and the sixth one is going to be the gcf no, a lot of students have a confusion whether it is a transduate or an exuduate. Yes, of course it is both. In a pro-inflammatory state, it is going to be transduate, and in inflammatory state, it is going to be an exuduate. And I also want you to learn about the methods to collect GCF. Okay, and uh, a few things, a few little bit of things there and here about GCF. Okay, and the stages and grades of periodontitis. The reason classification. Okay, there are four stages and three grades. Based on the severity and complexity, they have divided the stages and based on the risk modifiers like diabetes and uh, smoking habits, they have classified the grades. Okay, so all these seven topics plus the various topics I have revised uh, in the Amalgam PG app. It is completely free. I'll give you the link below. If you are interested, you can go and watch or else you can, if you have any source for all these seven topics, you can read that also. But make sure you have just uh just at least see what are all this okay so the sixth session is going to be the very important topics these seven topics and in case in case if you know all these seven topics okay you can use this session for so for the things or for the notes which you have left or for topics which you feel is very volatile okay so uh, in in case if you want this pdf in case I'll give you just DM me to my Instagram page and whenever you finish a session just put a tick mark so that you feel confident when you look back you see oh fin fine I have finished three sessions okay so and one more thing which I left was implantology okay you have a beautiful uh, chapter of implantology in dentist okay uh, just revise that that's more than enough I have a PDF of that also if if you want you just DM me so that's more than enough for implantology I think you have some eighty MCQs in it so these are all the seven to eight topics which is very important which might be missed in your dentals, dentist or pulse which I want you to personally read okay because this might be asked in your future MCQs and, all, and uh, many of them would have been aware of the new salivary gland which has discovered the tuberial glands just have a look at that also so uh, if you follow this timetable I'm I'm pretty sure that you can finish periodontology in one day okay so uh, revise well I hope you are revising well so thank you for watching this video guys hope this video was helpful and if it is if it was helpful please share with your friends